You ready? Uh, yeah. You guys actually, ready? Yeah, cool? Good. Okay, perfect. Go well, on. I actually pulled seven iron because you just hit seven, but I'm going to hit my six iron. Okay, I love that. Uh, I don't hit it as far. I'm going to cheat and wipe the mud off the ball. Yeah, that's, that's we, yeah we didn't, you didn't see that, right? I don't think anyone's complaining about that. We're on that. the green, okay. That was pretty we both, solid. We both have birdie putts. Yeah. I'll take it. There you go. Birdie putts right from the start, right? Yeah, Scooby. <laughs> yeah. Right? I don't believe in ghosts, but if Luke brought us into like a very pitch black room and, and you know, stuff like that, then I think I'd be a little more scared. As a, as a little kid, I hated the dark and like, I hated like going around, like I, I wouldn't like, like walking around in the, in the house in the dark at, at night, you know, it's kind of just not my thing, so. It doesn't sound like you don't believe in ghosts, it sounds like you're afraid of ghosts. <laughs> Slightly well. different, you know. <laughs> well. Thank you for pointing that out, though. Yeah. Check it out. We can look at a caddy's view right here. 199 to the hole. 199. So what do you like, JJ? I like a six iron for you. Six iron? Yeah. Okay, I like that. It's a good caddy. <laughs> Nice. Talking about irons, why do you like the P7 MCs? For me, I mean, I, I rarely miss these, but when I do, I feel like my misses are just a little better. You know, go maybe similar to the same distance if, as, as if I were to hit them, you know, solid. And um, I feel like the curve on them is a little less because. Um, I tend to, Absolutely. you know, draw my irons a little more, and uh, you know, for me to be able to straighten them out, I think that's a big, that's a big thing that I like about these. It's crazy, you know. It's actually the smaller the head for me, the more focused I am sometimes. Okay. Um, I gave the P7 MCs last fall when you were killing it at the majors. I gave it a shot, and definitely doesn't curve as much. But I actually like to curve it. I like to move it. I like to work it left to right. So. Having a blade in my hand, like knowing that that's what it's going to do, um, I fully trust that. Right here is the old Ursuline Convent. It's actually the oldest building in the entire Mississippi River Valley. It was completed in 1752. On the third floor, y'all see the attic with those shutters? That's a prison for vampires. Each of those shutters supposedly sealed with 800 silver nails, blessed by the Pope himself. It's where the tomb opens. The legend says. <laughs> 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 In 1978, there was a group of paranormal researchers from Boston. Two of them were girls in their 20s who were really, really into the stories of vampires. So they had a plan. They set up recording equipment actually right here. And they said, we're going to stake it out how many nights it takes. I would love to tell you what they caught that night. I can't because the next morning they were both found murdered on the church steps. You know, there's recording equipment on you guys today. Well, it's not facing back yet. <laughs> Might tell no, but off, it though. should. Yeah, but I, we're not Turn the one recording. Turn it up there. You're, you're, there. Come on. You got one, enough. You're the one recording. We've got seven, <laughs> we got seven guys you. here. See you guys here tonight. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's my partner. I don't like walking backwards, it's tough. Yeah, seriously. I'm supposed to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that this camera's facing him. I just like how you're the older one, so you're in charge of all that stuff. Yeah, I got you. I think the biggest thing about team golf is it's pretty cool to have that team aspect because golf is so like individual. They can like pick you up if you're not playing well or you can feed off of each other and be happy for them. It's it's a it's a cool dynamic. When Matt and I are Teen it up this week. You get to root each other on. You, you hope everyone plays really well. Um, and there's that extra just sense of like pride that you just want to you want to win for the team. Are you playing my ball? Why not? We never play alternate shot, and that's the biggest thing. Like you're so used to hitting a putt and then going in and tapping in, but like if you do that, I don't even know what the penalty is. Like that's you have to watch yourself. And I think, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like we're all gonna be like, stop!
So this is uh, Le Petit Theatre du Vaux Carré. It was opened in the mid 1800s. As the legend goes, a young girl by the name of Catherine, she's one of the chorus girls. She attracts the eye of a producer and suddenly she finds herself as the leading lady. And then uh, another young lady catches that producer's eye and all of a sudden Catherine is relegated back to chorus girl, right? So uh, she decides to get revenge on the producer, on the theater. Uh, she waits till opening night, in the middle of the show. She goes up on the catwalks above and behind the stage, hangs herself. No one in the cast or crew sees this, only the audience see it. So as the legend goes, um, every opening night, their biggest show of the season, uh, at some point in the middle of the show, the audience will see the faint shadow of a hanging woman come dropping down. But uh, no one in the cast or crew can see it. <laughs> um, I love it. We've got two definitely unique head covers. Yeah, I mean, I just, this is a wolf. Some people confuse it. They'll be like, what kind of head cover is that? <laughs> they'll be like, fox? <laughs> and I'm, and then. <laughs> That's awesome. I know, and then, they'll, and then I'll be like, no, it's a wolf. And they'll be like, oh wait, I forgot your last name's wolf. Okay, yeah, even that though makes it's on your sense. golf bag. Right? Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, actually my, my girlfriend uh, Kim made this for me. It's definitely special. Oh, look at that. You're gonna use that. I guarantee you, you're gonna use that footage. I know you got a new dog. Yeah, with, uh, you and we Kat. just Cat and I. We just got our own dog. Uh, we got a golden doodle, and he's the cutest thing. And but it's like this thing is like as realistic as it gets, and it's like I was gonna say it's a little creepy. I'm glad like when you put him on the driver, it almost sits down, so you don't have to <laughs> stare him in the eyes because his eyes kind of like give you that weird feeling. Um, it almost looks like he was alive like a little bit ago. Yeah, like they, <laughs> they like... kind of just stuffed him. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty. What you got, Wolfie? I'm gonna say it's pretty straight. Oh, I got it splitting right in. Let's see who's right. I'm gonna read this. One. <laughs> <laughs> and JJ was right. <laughs> <laughs> That's Scooby. <cool. laughs> 